Uh, well, we met on Hinge, um, which is, I guess, pretty common nowadays. It just seemed like our personality just kept on ma matching up, and so we got to finally meet up and go on our first date. When I was driving up and actually like pulling into the parking lot, Brad Paisley was playing on the radio, got out of the car, and then he walked up after me, and I just said, are you Jeff? And when he like smiled and nodded, I was like, oh, thank goodness. He's even better than <laughs> the pictures. And I realized I took 35 years, but I finally found the person that God had made for me. And one of the things that stood out to me was I was kind of falling for him. She's always wanting to make everyone around her happy because she has such an amazing heart and sees the potential and best in everybody. Someone with this amazing of a heart, you're not going to find again. Definitely he is the most patient man I've ever met, which is also a very important quality to have because the man will be waiting on me for the rest of our lives. Oh, Jeff said it first. <laughs> do you, I think I said something like, do you want to use the L word? And he was like, yeah. <laughs> he was like, I, I don't want to say I love you right now, but I, I won't, like, I am falling in love with you. That's how he phrased it. <laughs> uh, I normally always say, uh, see you later, love, and just that, but, but I said, see you later, love you. And then it was like, I hadn't wanted to say it too fast, and it just kind of it slipped out that one time. And we went to the crew of Boo, and that was like his first experience of New Orleans. Oh, it was the night before he left. That was the first time I told him I loved him. Dear Jeffrey. Dear Tracy. I want you to know that your whole life has set you up <laughs> to be the perfect man for me. And I know me and you go back and forth saying that I am the lucky one. And I don't mean when I say that I'm the lucky one that you aren't as lucky. I think we're both so very lucky to have found each other. I want you to know that everything that has happened to you has made you into my perfect match. You are just the most amazing person that has ever come into my life. You encourage me more than I ever thought possible. The most important thing that I want you to know is that you are good enough for me. And I will work my whole life to make sure that you know that. I can't wait to say I do in a little bit. I love you so much, baby. I love you more, and I am the lucky one. Heavenly Father, we do love you, God, and we praise you for this day, for bringing together Tracy and Jeff to be husband and wife. And Lord, we pray for a hand of blessing over their marriage, God, that today would not be the peak of it, but Father, that they would enjoy a lifetime of growing together in love and laughter and enjoyment. And so Lord, as we, uh, we come together and we say these vows and make these pledges today, God, would you take center stage? Would you bind them together uh, in love today? And so we pray all these things in Jesus' mighty and holy name, amen and amen. Now, Jeff and Tracy, the vows that you're about to take are not to be taken lightly because in them, uh, you're committing yourselves exclusively to each other for as long as you both shall live. And so, Jeff, will you have this woman to be your wife? And Tracy, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? Just be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. Well. I will. This ring is a symbol and pledge of the love and respect I have for you. Of the vows I've made to you. And of my faith in Jesus Christ. With this ring, I thee wed. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now Jeff and Tracy, having affirmed that God has brought you together in marriage and united you as husband and wife, according to the word of God and the laws of this state, it gives me great joy to announce that you are now husband and wife, and Jeff, you are now allowed to kiss your bride. Yeah. Yeah. Friends, it gives me great pleasure to present to you for the very first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Dr. Jeffrey P.
I am Tracy's best friend forever in the whole wide world ever. B-F-F-I-T-W-W-E for short. Beat that, Jeff. I have had the absolute pleasure, if you can even call it that, of being best friends with Jeff for the last 11 years. He was one of the first people I befriended in Tallahassee. Gosh darn it, Jeff. You watch your kids grow up, you watch them achieve one goal after another, and tonight I have finally f achieved my final goal. The last one is married! If anyone is as privileged as I am to have walked through so many years together, they know the joy of doing life with her. And I share all this with you so you can get a glimpse into her character. <laughs> if you spent any time with Jeff, you've probably noticed he's got a few quirks um, and can be very passionate about the most random and obscure things. And because of that, I think we can all agree that we knew it would take a very special woman to be his person. And to be honest, Jeff, I think you won the jackpot with this one. It took her a while to find the right guy, but he is an amazing young man. And I am so thankful to have him as our son-in-law. If I can offer any advice, pursue friendship. And to borrow this from a pastor and author, Tim Keller, um, remember that the essence of marriage is covenant and the purpose of marriage is companionship. Please raise your glasses with me. And this is to Tracy and Jeff. Father, we do love you, God, and we praise you. We say thank you for the way that you've loved us first. You never walked away, God. You never gave up. In the middle of not wanting you, in the middle of sin and rejection of you, God, you continue to love us and to pursue us in the sending of your son, Jesus Christ. And so, God, we just say thank you for that. And may your hand of blessing be on Jeff and on Tracy today. May you bind them together in the bonds of love God, I pray that they would grow together, that they would enjoy uh, the privilege of knowing intimacy for the rest of their days. God, that they would continue to be filled with more joy, more love, more affection for one another 50 years from now than the day, than even today as we stand here and standing on cloud nine, essentially, God. We ask for your blessing. And so we love you, we thank you for this day, and we pray all of these things in Jesus' mighty name, amen.